Hi, we, this is Dan and Jill, and we are in Tecumseh, Michigan, and it's just a small little town, and from looking at it, it was established in 1824, so it's almost 200 years old. It also says, home of the Apple Umpkin Festival, so that means we will probably be back here sometime in October to check that out, but we're going to... Um, Get something to eat? Get some, I'm, I'm so hungry. Can, hungry. I, can we finally eat now? Let's eat. All right. So we're going to go and you just do and some looking fun. around through the town and then get something to eat, and we will be back with you soon. Yeah, or eat first and then look around. I'm hungry. Let's go. How's that? <laughs> yes? No? What's your thought? Yep. Still recording, so. <laughs> How was that? Do I need to take again? <laughs> <laughs> Take two, all right. <laughs> I love it. It's not just like me. That side has weeds on it, but that is really, really cool. Interesting. I had pulled pork. It was delicious. And I had uh -huh. a Reuben, Chipotle, something Reuben. Yeah. yeah it, was, it was good. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very, very good. The British Pantry Tea Garden Cafe. Yum. Is it open? Closed on Sundays. We're closed on seven, or Things are closed on Sundays. You know, people like us have to get out and do stuff on Sundays. Another sandcastle. What's this one? Oh, it's those minions. That is so cute. But you know what I want to know? Where's the beach? That was funny, right? Continue on, honey. Get it? Where's the beef? Where's the beach? Whatever. Are you filming? Yeah. Oh, hi. Hey. <laughs> Chiropractor. Oh, there's more uh, sandcastles. That's pretty cool. All right, found some place that's open in Tecumseh. Yay! It's called Another Vice Company. And another Vice and Company. I don't know what it is, but we're going in because it's open. Let's go.
All right, so where are we going now? We're gonna see. <laughs> well, I know the ice cream store's open. <laughs> so we're gonna go check that out, have some ice cream. We'll report back. Can't wait. What did you get, honey? I just got a small um, coffee caramel gelato. It's and, delicious. This place is called The Vault. What did I get? Do you remember? I don't remember. I don't remember either. Tiramisu and vanilla. And it's open. It's open on a Sunday. Um, it's called The Vault Sweets and Marketplaces. Marketplace. There's a bunch of chocolates, caramel corn, ice cream gelato, sodas, floats, sundaes. They will even put a shot of espresso over your ice cream. Shut up. That's pretty cool. This is really good, so. Come on down. It's delicious. And no, I won't shut up. It's delicious. So we wanted to get a little more information about the ice cream vault that we were in. So unfortunately, um, this the mic was not synced properly to this worker. So um, what she was telling us was the history of the building. Uh, the building was built back in 1850. That was a long time ago. And it was converted into a bank back in 1880. The floors, tiles, and the actual vault are original to the building, hence why they call it the vault. So over time, the bank was changed over quite a few times to um, a radio station and then a telephone company. And that was way back during the Great Depression in the 20s and the 30s. So now, um, after that, it was called the Chocolate Vault, which sold all kinds of fun, uh, different kinds of chocolate and little treats. Now it is just called the vault, but they do have the vault that is still in that building and it's basically just for storage. And she actually took us back there to see what was inside. So let's look at the, the bars on the doors, the heavy doors, go back in there. That's just storage, no money, just storage for the chocolate place. So now being called the vault, they now sell mostly ice cream, which is basically what got us what got us in there in the first place. But um, they still sell chocolates and all kinds of fun things. But the most interesting part of this old building is that there have been reports of paranormal activity. And that is the most interesting part of this whole place. The upstairs used to be a ballroom. Then they converted the ballroom into different types of apartments and suites way back in the 20s and 30s. Um, there have been reports of people hearing laughter and all and dance music and people like dancing their um, the feet on the floor. You could hear them dancing like um papa, um papa, something like that. Um, there's also been visions of people being sighted out of the corner of their eye. And then when you turn around to look, there'd be nobody standing there. So, um, so even this worker that was talking to us, she has also experienced a few things as well working there these past few months. She would see visions of people ducking behind the counter. She would go over to see what was going on and there'd be nobody there. There's also, uh, there was um, lights that were flickering on and off. A lot of these lights were on the same switch. So there's really no logical reason as to why some of the le the lights were on and some of the reason you know and why the lights were off so that was another weird thing so when i said well who could be doing this in this building who is it and she said it's someone that is named lucius lily she was actually the founder of the bank back in 1880 she has been said to move things around she has been said to knock things off the counters and when people that are there you know getting um their ice cream and things they say, oh my god what is that and they said ah it's just lucius lily she just wants us to know that she's here um and i asked her i said doesn't that scare you that things go on around here like that and she says nope she loves her job, she loves the little town, and she's definitely gonna be there for a long time because she's not going anywhere. So um, we will definitely be going back there when we go back to Tecumseh. Cute little town, cute little ice cream place. Um, you can see the floors back there, which are really cool. Again, those are original to the building. Um, so 
yep, I'm definitely going to go back there. This is definitely a fun place to be. Nice little town, wasn't it? Very nice little town. Unfortunately, a lot of things were not open, but the stores we went into were really, really cute. I uh, learned a little bit about the paranormal activity that goes on here. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> that was really cool. Didn't expect that, but that was really cool. And we got some lovely ice cream. Really in the good. interim there is very, very good very gelato. Good.